Amid massive outrage from the people, the opposition and even some Tory leaders, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson admitted and apologised for attending a Bring Your Own Booze party at the Downing Street during the first wave of the pandemic. Listen in. Number 10 is a big department with the garden as, as an extension of the office, which has been in constant use because of the role of fresh air in stopping the virus. And when I went into that garden just after six on the 20th of May 2020 to thank groups of staff before going back into my office 25 minutes later to continue working, I believed implicitly that this was a work event. Now, this is the first time that Johnson acknowledged attending the May 2020 garden party, though he added that he considered it a work event. Apologising to the people, UK Prime Minister apologised, saying that there are things that his government did not get right. With hindsight, I should have sent everyone back inside. I should have found some other way to thank them. And I should have recognised that even if it could be said technically to fall within the guidance, there would be millions and millions of people who simply would not see it that way, people who suffered terribly, people who were forbidden from meeting loved ones at all, inside or outside. And to them and to this House, I offer my heartfelt apologies. While Johnson presented his admission and explanation, the opposition MPs were seen mocking the Prime Minister. Loud laughter echoed in the House of Commons as Johnson made his arguments. Uh, I, 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 say to him, I say to him that he is wrong. Uh, he is wrong in what he has said. Keir Starmer, leader of the opposition Labour Party, well, dismissed Johnson's apology as worthless and slammed Johnson for belatedly speaking out after what he called months of deceit and deception and calls for Johnson to resign only grew louder. To months of deceit and deception, the pathetic spectacle of a man who's run out of road. His defence, his defence that he didn't realise he was at a party. <laughs> it, it, it is so ridiculous that it's actually offensive to the British public. He's finally been forced to admit what everyone knew, that when the whole country was locked down, he was hosting boozy parties in Downing Street. Yes. Is he now going to do the decent thing and resign? Yes. He's not apologised, Mr Speaker, for breaking the rules and breaking the law. He's sorry because he's been caught. Yeah. He is bang to rights. Yeah. So when my constituents were making unimaginable, unimaginable, decisions, he was hosting a boozy party in Downing Street. So how does he think he can still maintain the one rule for him and another for the rest of us? Yeah. He cannot and he must resign. Yeah. Now, some of the Tories too want Johnson to go. Responding to the opposition, Johnson urged all sides to await the findings of an internal inquiry he has commissioned. Now, Boris Johnson maintained his silence since an email was leaked earlier this week in which a senior aide invited more than 100 colleagues to an event on May 20th, 2020, encouraging them to bring their own booze. The event occurred when people in the UK were under strict COVID-19 restrictions. Boris Johnson has been facing a flurry of accusations over Downing Street parties and a sleaze scandal, among other issues which have sparked public anger and led to a fall in poll ratings. Johnson, who had hoped to start the new year afresh, leaving behind the accusations, has landed himself in an even worse situation as the scandal that Partygate becomes the biggest crisis of Johnson's two and a half years in power.
Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.